God told me. They don't want you to know this, but the result is already fixed. A serious period is beginning for America, as there are only 10 days left for the people of America to get their new president. So who will make it to the Oval Office? Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? Stay tuned to the video because we are going to cover a lot of strange and unusual things happening in the political realm of the United States of America. And in this video, I'm going to share what God told me about the results of the elections in USA. We all saw how Kamala Harris responded to a Christian at her rally. And this is really very concerning. But God is watching everything. And trust me, dear folks, he will not be mocked. Within the next 11 days, it will be clear who will become the next president of America. But to the children of God, God has given us a crucial message before the election's result that you really need to hear right now. Before you try to mock these words, I would like to request anyone who doesn't believe in God's ways of working to please stop watching this video immediately because Jesus is looking for his faithful ship, not the Judas. Now to all the faithful people who are choosing to hear these words and receive them until the very end, the Holy Spirit is saying to you that this is not just about the politics. No, this is about the very soul of a nation that has been wandering far from God. As the days count down, as the media spins its stories, and as people put their hope in polls and campaigns, understand that the Lord of hosts has already seen the end. He has already set the course and it will shock many. But for those who have ears to hear for the children of God, there is no need to be surprised because God's hand is at work behind the scenes and even now, while chaos and confusion swirl across the land. We have all seen how Kamala Harris responded to a Christian at a rally recently, haven't we? This should concern us deeply, because the spirit that manifests in those moments tells us something. It shows us that the hostility, the arrogance, the refusal to acknowledge the living God is increasing. But let me remind you of something again, child of God. God will not be mocked. He sees it all and He is preparing to act. Kamala's public words might be brushed aside by many. But they are the sign for the remnant. They are the sign of a deeper spiritual battle that is taking place in this election season. On the other side of the coin, Donald Trump is consistently acknowledging God in his speeches. He is boldly accepting that God saved him, not once, not twice, but three times this year. And he's telling people that he was saved for a greater purpose that only God knows. It is now very clear what God intends as things are falling into the place and every dot is connecting. God has already told us that in the last days, Christians will be mocked for their faith, but those who remain faithful to God will emerge victorious. Behind the curtain of what we see, there is a fierce battle in the spiritual realm too. It is not just about the policies, laws or leaders. It is about the destiny of America. The forces of darkness have long been seeking to steer this nation away from its divine calling. And the upcoming election is a pivotal moment in that ongoing battle. You see, 
The enemy doesn't want the people of God to know that the battle is already won. He wants confusion. He wants division. He wants fear to rule the hearts of the people. But let me tell you, God's plan is unfolding even now and nothing will stop it. The enemy might think that he has the upper hand. But the Lord is controlling everything from heaven and his victory is certain. America stands at the crossroads and the choices made in these next few days will ripple into the future. But do not be deceived, for God's purpose will prevail. The politicians, the pundits, the strategists, they all think they can shape the future with their own hands, with their own minds. But it is God who raises up leaders and brings them down. It is God who holds the hurt of every king and president in his hand. What we are witnessing now is not merely an election. It is the revealing of God's divine will for this nation in this hour. The prophetic voices have been sounding the alarm for years now. They have warned of the consequences of turning away from God, of embracing wickedness, and of mocking his holy name. But so many have refused to listen. Even now, many in the church are asleep. Lulled into complacency by the comforts of this world. But God is about to shake America awake. He is about to reveal his power in a way that will leave no room for doubt. We all can see how the economy is exploding in the United States of America, how the banks are closing, inflation rate is going high, and trust me, it is going to be way more worse than we could imagine. In the political realm, strange and unusual things are happening each day. We have seen many scandals, betrayals, and sudden shifts in alliances. But understand this. None of it is happening by chance. God is orchestrating events to expose the hurts of men. He is bringing to light what has been hidden in darkness. He is allowing certain things to unfold so that his judgment may be clear, his righteousness displayed. He has already fixed the result of these elections because ultimately, his will shall prevail. Now, we as Lord Health Ministry are not claiming that any human or party has fixed this result. But it is only God who has written and fixed everything since the beginning of creation. He is a great author and ultimately, His will shall prevail. I would like to share what God told me about these elections and the results. But before you run with these prophetic words, I would like to request you to please go to the Lord in prayer and seek discernment about these words. God told me that many will be shocked, many will be outraged, but the faithful will rejoice. For my people have prayed, they have cried out, and I have heard their cries. I have seen the injustice, the persecution, and the mockery of my name. But my hand is moving, and my justice will be revealed in the outcome of this election. It is not a victory for men, but a victory for the kingdom of God. For the one who stood for righteousness, the one who upheld my values, teachings and commandments, will become the president. When I received these words, I was confused at first. But as soon as I heard this declaration from God the Almighty, I immediately realized 
who this person would be. But dear folks, God didn't just stop here. He also told me that the one who will lead this nation will be someone who acknowledges me, who knows that without my guidance, no ruler can stand. He will face many challenges, many battles, but he will not stand alone. I will strengthen him and I will go before him. The days ahead will be difficult, but my grace will be sufficient for him and for this nation. Now we all know that the days are getting worse as the economy of US is getting very unstable and the inflation is reaching its peak. But dear child of God, God promised that his grace will come upon us and the darkness that is trying to cover this nation will be removed. As soon as I hear these words from God, God continued speaking to me. He said, The result is already fixed because I, the Lord, have fixed it. And the days to come, my people will see that I am still the God who rules over the nations, the God who hears their prayers, and the God who acts on behalf of those who trust in me. So these were the words I have received from the Lord about the result of this election. And I request once again everyone that you should go to the Lord in prayer and seek discernment about these prophetic words. Because God has clearly instructed us in Bible that we should seek discernment from the Lord before we run with any prophetic word. Let us bow our heads and join together in prayer, trusting in the sovereign will of God for this nation and for our lives. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with humble hearts, recognizing that you alone are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You hold the nations in your hands and your plans are beyond our understanding. In this moment of uncertainty, as we stand on the brink of an election that will shape the future of this nation, we turn to you for guidance, for wisdom and for peace. Lord, we acknowledge that your will is perfect and your timing is always right. We ask for clarity and discernment as we seek to understand what you are doing in this hour. Open our spiritual eyes, Lord, so that we may see beyond the natural realm and perceive the deeper spiritual battles taking place. We know that this election is not just about politics, but about the destiny and the soul of this nation. And so, we ask your Father to protect and preserve the nation that was founded on principles of your word. Father, we lift up the candidates before you, especially the one you have chosen to lead this nation. We pray for your anointing upon him, strengthen him, Lord, and equip him with the courage to stand for righteousness, even in the face of fierce opposition. Grant him the wisdom of Solomon, the boldness of David, and the steadfastness of the Daniel. Surround him with godly counsel and let your Holy Spirit guide his every decision. At the same time, we pray for the hurts of the American people, Father. In a time when division and confusion are rampant, we ask for your peace to reign. Break down the walls of hatred, fear and mistrust that have been built up between brothers and sisters. Bring unity to your people, Lord, and let the church rise in this hour to be a voice of truth, love and justice. Let us not be swayed by the opinions of the world, but let us stand firm in your word, knowing that you are in control. Lord, we also pray for those who are anxious and fearful about the future. Remind them that you are a refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. So no matter what the outcome of this election may be, 
help us to remember that you are the true ruler and your kingdom will never be shaken. Fill our hearts with faith, Lord, and let us walk in confidence, knowing that your plan for us is good. We ask for a mighty outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon this nation. Let revival sweep across the land, turning hearts back to you. Heal the deep wounds of our nation, Lord, and restore us to the path of righteousness. Let your church arise in power and let us be the light in this dark world, boldly proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ in every corner of the land. Father, as we place our trust in you, we surrender our all anxieties and fear. We know that you are working all things together for good and we declare that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.